going to show you a really wonderful, wonderful crust. It's a fabulous crust. It makes everyone look like a really good pastry baker. So we're really about home cooking. So what we're going to give you is uh, a beautiful crust for the holidays that you can use for any of your baking. And the very secret thing, the thing that makes this the silkiest, most beautiful crust is we add an egg to it. We start by putting three cups. You just dip your cup into the flour. That's what they say. Dip and, and sweep. Dip and sweep. So that's about three cups of flour. You know, you just put a little bit of sugar in. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Well, what we do is we grate it on a grater, but it has to be quite cold. And so you can see it's already in little shreds. We'll mix all the butter into the flour. You know, you have to play with it though. You're really smearing the fat into the flour. <laughs> Will you add an egg to that measuring cup and then add enough water to give us a half cup Look oh, at the yolk. What a beauty. Gosh, that is an orange yolk. That's beautiful. Okay, uh, beat it first. Yeah, give it a little. All right, to half cup. To half cup. Beat it again. Yeah. You'll end up with enough dough to make two pies, two open pies. We're just going to shape it into two nice discs, and then we're going to refrigerate it. Even though it's been in the refrigerator for a while, you can even see, feel it, Melissa. It's oh, so... I know why it's like that. Believe it's it or not. It's the egg. It is. It's and the you'll egg see, is adding that normally, richness. when you would roll out a dough like this, the edges would just start to crack, crack, crack. It is just rolling out so beautifully. You are going to just Roll it around your rolling pin, and then you just... You want to make sure that it sort of fits down in there and you don't pull it, because it will shrink a bit when it cooks. We'll just cut it off a little bit. Just sort of hold your finger and pinch, and pinch, and pinch. And once again, this is a very forgiving crust because the egg makes everything so supple and easy, easy, easy to work with. We will one more time put it in the refrigerator and let it rest. So we're going to blind bake this. We're going to line the crust with uh, a piece of parchment paper. And we have a bag of this that we just reuse over and over again. <laughs> that just holds you know, sometimes the, the pastry puffs up because we're going to bake this with no filling in it oh. so that the uh, crust gets nice and dried out and it'll stay crispy. One of the great things about a pie crust, I mean, it is intimidating. You just have to have confidence and you can't be afraid and timid if you add an egg to the liquid that it makes this very silky dough that is so easy to handle. It's really almost foolproof. You can even make them ahead and have those discs in your yeah. freezer. <laughs> now what we're going to do is put it back in there so this will dry out and cook. And it won't take very long now, but it won't puff up. Another cup of tea? Another <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> Two different styles, same dough. You can use this dough for uh, really making anything, with sugar, without sugar, for quiche, for sweets, for tarts, and uh, we just love it. It's so easy to work with.